Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for July 2020. Wow, when we're in the summer, big time. We're going, the days are getting shorter now. The summer solaces have been and we're in the Cancer. Energy, loving, passion, nurturing, taking care, sensuality and sexuality. Ooh, 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 I love the energy. Okay, well, if you're new, then welcome. Yes, I'm nutty, and I love it. I'm happy. We had a great discussion on Friday night, and nobody has entered the competition, so the competition is going to be called off. I don't know whether you have watched the uh, live session from Friday, so uh, I will plan to do something else. Okay. Um this is your romance reading like i said and it the energy is very nurturing and caring and what the energy from the last four or five videos is a new beginnings something birthing something is brewing so i hope there is loads of positiveness for you too libra and if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then you can find the information at the bottom of the video in the description box or in in the top right hand corner thank you very much for all your likes and you are fourth with together with virgo yes virgo is already out there i'm going through the stage of the houses you're no less you're just as important to me as the rest of my cyber angels and if you're new and you've just landed on the channel then it has a significant meaning then welcome and i do go live every week on monday wednesday and friday and uh, i give away free cards and i also support questions that are don uh, i answer questions that are donated with uh, a super chat or a super sticker so everybody has a choice to have a a one-to-one -one extensive reading or just join in in the life uh, discussions and readings etc etc and what has come out is that the um, cyber angels love to have more discussions and interaction uh, with each other and me not just getting free cards okay let's begin this beautiful reading and I can't wait I'm using the reading this is the queer and card or the overall energy for the month <coughs> for you excuse me and this is week one two three and four and then I also use the corner cards to clarify the reading to get as many answers and um, I do go more into depth when I'm on a one-to-one -one basis doing an extensive reading for you not I'm um, just uh, discovering the surface here okay my darlings so please note that uh, I take about 30 to 45 minutes in an extensive reading and I've got the romance of the angels I've got surrender this is a task this is a task or a suggestion um, uh, that you can act upon or you can practice see how it resonates with you and an answer of the angels now we begin with the uh, your card or in the overall card I'll let you decide who this is or what this means to you but it is the death card so you're leaving the old behind you are moving forwards Yahoo new beginnings and the death card also represents Scorpio okay so Sagittarius there might be a Scorpio around you that's interested in you or you might be partnered up with a Scorpio now I'm going to skim through um, the reading first of all um, see what people are around you you've got the King of Pentacles the King of Pentacles that is Taurus but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn but the King is Taurus mainly okay and uh, Mm, there's no other person that I can see and I'm only going to use the picture in the Lenamon not the numerology or the card or the cartomancy I would do that in an extensive reading as well 
So you might be uh, dealing with uh, a Scorpio or a Taurus or an Earth sign. Okay, well, we are in the water energy, so that is, uh, you could be extra sensitive. If you are taking this as your card, the Quirin card, then you might be extra sensitive or sen sexy or sensual or nurturing or loving or passionate because that's the energy this month. In the first week, you have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody's recognizing you. Okay, in other words, you're, somebody has an eye on you. You are being recognized. That is what, um, in the in the general reading, it is usually you're recognized for your hard work. But you can interpret that as well. You're looking good. You're looking fantastic and you're being noticed. You are the beacon. You are the beacon of sensuality and sexuality <laughs> or loving or c nurturing. Okay. Well, good for you. Okay. You might be going up a next level with your Scorpio or your Taurus or anyone for that matter because you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune is yours. You're going up. It's like the wheel and these are just like the spokes of each phase of life or the wheel. The wheel means you might go up a notch or two. So you're, if you're going out, you might be getting engaged. If you're engaged, you might be getting married. Ooh, nice one. So brilliant what goes round comes round so be careful this is also my karma card what goes up must come down so if you've done good you will get it back threefold the same as negative if somebody's done you good or wrong they'll get it back threefold so be assured of that you have all the animal uh, uh, elements to make your dreams come true Okay, you might be moving in together. You might be moving in with the Scorpio or the Taurus or the other Earth signs. You might be moving home together. You might be buying your first house, as this is also number one, a new beginning. And number ten becomes a number one, a new beginning. You might be buying your first house. Or you might be going on holiday together. Could be honeymoon. I don't know. For some, it might. I know I'm reading for thousands, so I hope it is, if that is what you wish. You might even decide to uh, um, sign a, a, a living contract, a partner contract. Because we do have the King of Pentacles, and he stands for investment. But I'll get there. There could be a reconciliation if you have fallen out with your your partner there might be a rebirth because we've got judgment there might be a rebirth this is a new beginning or a second chance so take your pick make sure you invest wisely okay Archangel Gabriel is uh, bre uh, breathing or blowing new life into something that has already existed. So again, that could be good news for you. Karma has come back because you've been patient. You've taken your time to move forward, to learn your hard work. Uh, you've been working on yourself to make yourself looking good or sexy or being more nurturing, being more relaxed and they have seen you change and grow. Wow, so there could be a second chance for those that would take somebody back. Um, but like I said, make sure that you invest wisely because the King of Pentacles looks into things deeply and seriously because he wants something that has durability and is for long term. You don't want to fall back to the same pattern. You want to move away from old patterns. Um, it will never remember. If you do take somebody back, then um, a fox, a fox will shed its fur, but not its streaks. He might have added, um, learned new streaks, just like you. It will be different. It will be different, but the old streaks are still there. But you can adjust 
but you have to keep on adjusting okay you have to keep on growing and preferably together you have to be balanced all our relationships friendships whether it is family or not or whether it is extended family um, they grow as well and they change and we've all got ups and downs like the wheel of fortune when it goes up it's great when it goes down we've got the lesser periods but sometimes it really 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 gets a bit iffy and then we think Oof, I want to go away I want to finish it and move on onto something new I think most of you uh, will reconsider because we have the second chance card here and we are mature and we do need to talk to each other and we have to adjust like you are um, a fire sign and you lo love action and passion and the earth signs are slower steadier and sometimes very um, it might seem to you because you're a fire sign Sagittarius they m it might feel mundane and boring but you love somebody not for what they've got but for who they are so stick with them they will persist okay so long nobody's getting hurt then it's fine if somebody is getting hurt then you have to move away okay or seek help but they usually invest for long term and for durability they love um, they if this could be you um, everything that you touch will turn to gold will turn out positive will have a new beginning a second chance a new beginning going up to the next level because you are sure of what you want and you found out from your partner what they want you know each other's boundaries so you have learned not to cross those boundaries that is earning and uh, respect that's asking for respect and they should abide by that and so should you so long you know what their boundaries are like I said a fox sheds his fur but not his tricks but he can or she can adjust their tricks or their habits let me put it that way I don't like the word tricks but sometimes we can irritate ourselves when we have a partner that leaves off the top of the toothpaste or leaves a wet sopping dirty toothbrush lying I'm just in <laughs> imagining <laughs> silly scenarios but you know what I mean or leave their clothes lying around on the ground and you have to pick them up and you are the slave no that's not what we want we want equality and quality equilibrium and quality and that is in the fourth week you might meet the king of uh, pentacles like I said or throughout the month there could be a Scorpio and they're a gentle sort as well you might clash with them because they might be spiritual and you don't believe in spirituality they uh, they are more emotional because it is a water sign ah but they can be very mysterious well that is tell you something about the Scorpio and this was came up in the discussion on the life on Friday Scorpios are everybody every sign and every nationality every culture has its positive things and negative things and I think a lot of the, remember we are made out of our moon sign rising sign other planets um, we're not just Scorpio or uh, Virgo or Gemini or Libra Sagittarius we have other elements within our zodiac sign think back what made you uh, uh, make you fall in love with them or them with you okay the attraction was there learn from it like the king of pentacles he invests only in what he believes is sound and will last but I think it will turn out positive 
definitely if you take time out to do the research what it is uh, where you can find and how you can find the balance your hard work is going to pay off it's already showing that by the three of pentacles so they are noticing that you are trying or um, that something is niggling at you and you have to tweak a relationship or a friendship they are definitely loyal and trustworthy that is the dog in the Lenaman loyalty trustworthy um, a dog is loyal to its master or to and they yeah our partner should be loyal to us whether it is whether you're a man and it's a woman that should be loyal to you or a woman and a man should be loyal to you you've said the yes word to them so that's why we need to be loyal and treat each other with respect and I was talking about the wolf and he looks like the wolf <laughs> or the fox so a, you can teach a dog new tricks but he can't lose his old ones okay but luck is on your side with the dog the dog is lucky okay they love to come home to a loving warm cuddly canoodly home look at that recognition and they have invested in your friendship okay and you in theirs there is a new start wow beautiful then we go on to the crossroads now the cross is the crossroads the cross I mean sorry not the crossroads it the crossroads means that you might be um, up in your head about something definitely or you might feel depressed have faith have faith that if you work at it and you communicate with each other and you find out each other's boundaries that it will turn out all right you might even have more than one choice you've got two men here perhaps there might be a third party in the relationship okay okay um, I'm getting also to hear I'm literally hearing this I'm hearing perhaps you are comparing somebody with a previous relationship because if I do an extensive reading um, then this is the past this is the present this is the future and now I'm doing only the weeks and the general energy so you might be comparing uh, somebody with somebody from the past but you are have outgrown like I said you are moving on and there's a new beginning you are moving on to this new beginning you've invested in this in this relationship so get out of your ha head and make the choice and stop comparing somebody to somebody from the past everybody is an individual have respect and love them the way they are they might be slow they might be boring or they might be emotional and they might be too demanding um, attention from you that's only a good thing but you know that's why you say hold on matey um, I'm going out with the girls tonight okay or I'm going out with the boys um, I'm sorry but I c can't be here all right you and even if there's children involved then you know sometimes uh, our partners do feel left out when we have children so make sure um, talk talk with your partner and say I will try to make more time for you I love you with all my heart I love you to death now how beautiful is that and the death card is here Wow that's amazing trust and have faith but make a choice you've got that second chance it's up to you are you going to take it or are you going to move on okay now we are uh, at the third corner and we have the tower now the tower in Lenaman doesn't mean a sudden change 
it means that you are ambitious or are they uh, uh, ambitious I think it could be more or less you Sagittarius because you are an ambitious type of person and character okay and you are always working um, to improve things everybody does let's face it okay perhaps you might be quicker at it and seeing the big picture huh, more so than your partners partner sorry partners <laughs> and um, like I said explain what you want explain your vision of what life would be perhaps you want to if you are living together in a rented property uh, you might want to buy an apartment with somebody you have to start small before you can get the big you can't run before you are walk uh, everything is got its ups and downs it's not straightforward okay you have mountains look in the background of each card it is never straightforward it's always hobbly we have to take the ups with the lows and that is how we can make sure uh, these are testings or provings proof moments that we love each other we take care of each other is this what we want yes this is what we want you don't just drop it um, when difficulties start coming in you don't drop the hat at the first instance you carry on you work at it that's what you do get recognition okay perhaps you are so ambitious they would like more uh, uh, recognition like I said more quality time with you so get the ki kids shop move the kids to grandma and granddad and take a, a weekend away even if it is at home it doesn't have to cost any money but make that special time okay the tower is in, in Lenormand means ambition but don't forget the people around you and that's what I've been saying before I got to the tower make sure they feel loved and that they know it and look you've got the cross and you've got the crossroads so there are many more choices and see that the road is going zigzag it's not straightforward like I said oh, wow it's funny how I don't notice the cards when I put them out only when I come to them so move forward and go with the road go with each bend learn that is life experience don't give up at the drop of a hat attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yes you can m make yourself more beautiful you can nurture yourself like the water sign if you don't meet a Scorpio then that will m mean that you are nurturing and loving yourself and being more sensual and sexy yeah and you will be attractive and you will attract romantic love even if you are hooked up or not don't um, go always your own way you'll burn yourself out and you'll burn your relationship surrender comparisons with other people like I said you might be uh, comparing somebody from the past don't compare everybody's individual again this card I didn't see this card when I started out keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strength attractiveness and power yes but make time and this is also let the other know your boundaries I like it when uh, when uh, I say something in a reading or I see or hear something in a reading and it is confirmed by the cards okay ask your angels ask your angels to guide you on the right path to make the right choice to act justly and correctly uh, like the uh, judgment card so that you can be reborn help them to 
uh, to support you emotionally and invest give you the knowledge to invest wisely so you can take up this relationship to the next level whether you're hooked up or not when you've been married 25 years it might be mundane and boring but you've got something good there with um, uh, durability and for long term and sometimes like I said we all have our ups and downs it gets boring so take action and go outside take action and do something exciting start a new hobby together like taking a weekend away once a month and go and see uh, you can you can even sleep at home if you haven't got the money and see what is around you in your own environment five kilometers or ten kilometers away and take the car or take the the bike and go out there make a picnic and that is going out with each other once once a month you don't have to go out to the cinema or to a restaurant every month nobody can afford that nowadays and especially with covid virus okay you, i know everybody's been locked up and you might have got on each other's nerves uh, but you're free now and make it more exciting and you don't have to that is amazing how people have become creative like you see advertisements now huh, they're going to get the caravan and put it in their own garden that is if you have a garden but you can if there is a farmer around you and you can't afford to go on holiday because of the Covid virus then ask the farmer whether you can stand with your caravan uh, uh, or whatever camper in, on in one of his fields then give you the feeling of holiday be creative think of things I hope you will and I hope you do so take care and enjoy the month of July and stay blessed and whilst you are in, in your neighborhood with your camper or caravan you can always go to work so you don't even have to take a holiday off work because we there in some countries we don't have holidays we can we can take holidays but it's not paid time so be creative in creating the excitement and love in your life love you all take care my Sagittarius and make sure that you take time out for yourself and your partner that is quality time and stay in balance stay balanced okay okay be wise know that you're not alone the angels are with you ciao ciao and thank you for your likes and shares and have a brilliant romantic month be attractive that means sensual and sexy Ooh, go out and buy that new dress put on that makeup or buy the sexy shorts with the nice shirts to be handsome. Ciao, ciao. Love you all.